Spoiler for her, I am faster, but only if I'm like in the exact right zone. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> We're gonna need to see your poop on you. Don't worry, it's just a wardrobe check. Alright, enough of this. Let's win. Win, win, win. Did... Okay, here's one, Lithomere. The mustard museum is nearby. Is that because of... Are, like, mustard seeds grown nearby? Or is it just, like, just so happened it became a hotbed for people making mustards? Cool, cool, fierce. Well, congrats on the win again. And good luck on your future dead cells in... Lobes, what's up? Yeah, it's, I'm going to give myself a heart attack doing this this many days in a row, but I just want to get the win. Ugh. <laughs> Toxic Miasma is definitely... If I were going to have a bouncer in the Dead Cells world... There was one of the monsters. I feel like I'd use them. They're really mobile. Pretty intimidating. They'll appear when you least expect it. I saw that rune in the wall. There we go. <laughs> nice. So not regionally affiliated at all. Just, why is there a mustard museum here? Because I said so. It's like, it turns out his name is like Johnny Mustard. And that got him into mustard research. That's a good question. I hope not, free kill. Well, for what it's worth, if I had a Dead Cells bar, Qualentin, and it were between you and the Miasma, I would prefer that you bounce them. I've never been to any kind of food-based museum. I was gonna say, like, that that seems like an exotic, you know, like, ho ho. Observe these platanos. Alright. Mama. I'm coming for you. Not to a buzz cutter, man. Not to a buzz cutter. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> well done, Quantum. Feels good, right? And now if you ever need a sky bridge, you boy do you have one. I have one extra jump, or...? Yeah, one extra jump. <laughs> Did the ice cream museum have, like, a lot of ice cream on site? Or was it like, 
admire these photos of ice cream. Here we have Lord Byron's journal explaining his love for ice cream. Actually, now I kind of want to go to an ice cream museum. I don't know when it became a common little treat. I know they were making ice for royals and stuff way back, but I don't know when they turned it into a little dessert. I feel like for a long time, dessert for the common folk was like, this bread isn't moldy. If you lick the side that's been outdoors, it certainly has an interesting flavor that's not like your mutton stew. Although I guess mutton stew would be pretty elite as well. Weirdo horse, what's up? I'm sorry I'm slow on chat. <laughs> yeah, keep on walking against that spike there, buddy. What is that, ice armor? No, ice bow. I like the whole lock up when you're finished idea. All right, replacement gear. Ooh, Tesla. It's a coil. Now give me an owl, because it'll be a boy. Maybe a boil. If we could get Peter boil an owl form, that would be good. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Uh-oh, I hear happy sounds. Thank you very much for an anonymous gifted sub. Welcome aboard Weirdo Horse. And thank you, kind anonymous skipter. All right. I really want Mama Tick to die in this run. If we can get her down, I'm positive. We will win the run. I'm not messing around in the Astro Lab. We're gonna tiptoe with a radio flyer wagon. I'm gonna take some like victory sludge and just rub it all over the collector. My victory sludge. It's it's outgoing victory. So lost sludge from his perspective. Alright, uh perhaps a cursed sword. You know, I actually don't know whether it's a better bet to roll Tactics or Brute when I'm going for a sword like this. Yeah, we're never going to get 11,000 bucks. Oh, I wouldn't want it to be very pungent mayonnaise. I feel like that could really attract the baddies. Slammer birds seem like they would... Oh, snap! All right, it'll be slightly better. Well, that's a nice consolation prize. Although I'd imagine for a game where like the malaise generally is just everywhere, I think it's probably a pretty stinky, stinky kingdom. Especially because these plants have to be rotting, right? Like, if it was a royal arboretum, and now it's all just well dilapidated. Plants stink. I feel like rotten plant material is some of the stinkiest stuff you can have. <laughs> ah, VPM? Not a fan of VPM? <laughs> very, very pungent mayonnaise. You gotta wear goggles, otherwise it'll make you tear up. The Marlon Wayans A's is very pungent too, but his is funnier. 
And it's like naked in an elevator or something? Yeah, it doesn't have a nose, but here's a problem. The beheaded is also like sentient goop that can inhabit an entire body. So I don't know what senses it does or does not have. I'd imagine it might have like even worse. It's like a tactile form of scent. So like all the things that touch all parts of the sludge that is me. I feel like I can not so much taste them or smell them, but like become them? There's my hot take on Dead Cells lore. That's why we can't use our H rune when we have a cursed chest. Uh, because we don't want to infect people with the, the curse with our osmotic touch. And I don't think osmotic is a word, but I was trying to make an osmosis y adjective. It's true, yeah. Scribe! Record this! Oh shit. And I made a bad mistake. Yeah. Okay. We got some food to destroy. And it's almost, uh. Almost Arbor. or uh, morass time. Holy shit. Okay, so they're clones. That's pretty good. Oh, the the hard work that it would be to get drunk on mayonnaise would be it wouldn't be worth it. White Claw mayonnaise edition, a lightly carbonated zero cal beverage. Only now the zero cal beverage has like six hundred calories because it's mayonnaise. Uh, okay. To the morass, man. <laughs> the real key for VPM is you gotta get it going at like 6,000 RPM. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luther. <laughs> They had to use the NASA centrifuges to really get it up to speed. Anyway, let's switch. Barbecue sauce now. Turn that dial one condiment to the right. All right, morass. I'm ready. It's just old mama. <laughs> a barbecue museum, a barbecue sauce museum, like, wherever they l are least likely to have barbecue. Maine? I don't know. It's true, although we don't know whether the the flavor text between areas is the beheaded speaking or not. So it could be, you know, like if it says, no, it doesn't smell any better here. I don't know if that's outright the beheaded saying that, or I don't know. Uh, th there's not a story in the game. So. I'm in a tricky pickle, because there's a, a blowgunner up there that I... So many blowgunners. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry I'm slow on chat. I'm sorry to have changed us to a barbecue sauce conversation and then not actively participated. I know there's those... Uh... I still want to try that, like, parliament sauce. It's like MP. Maybe. I have, it's been so long since I've read the actual lore rooms. You might very well be right. The sewer comment was just the first one I thought of, but... Yeah, I mean, there's so many questions. If we're going with the lore, in-game lore, I'm like, wait, so... The malaise is the reason all of this happened. And it was obviously a shock and uh, kind of an apocalyptic disease pandemic. Uh, what is this cough syrup that just removes it outright? It seems like that should be... Based on the amount of money in the pockets of all these monsters, you'd think that we would just buy a bunch of cough syrup and be done with it. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get a better sword. Ah! Or a better owl. Uh, there's one... drugstore... which is both a literal, like, narcotics store and... maybe medicinal, but... The Tom, Tom's Mycology Mushroom Shop in the Prisoner's Quarters. Now, I don't know how psychedelic mushrooms would help with the malaise, but uh, I might forget you have it. Or become keenly aware that you have it in your hand, man. All right. Ooh. I left that blowgunner alone. Not cool. What I get for leaving people alive. Who's, who's blowgunning? Oh, there you are. So interested in my Tesla coil. That's a catcher? No, sorry. I'm a buffoon. There aren't catchers here. I meant Cleaver, but... Okay, let's get... Now, is there a Rampager? No. Oh, so many blowgunners. No! Okay. I got lazy and decided I just want to try to blast damage him down. I'm glad that worked out. Certainly was not guaranteed to. We do. We do, Lizmer. Alright. <laughs> it's true. That's where... It so we think that they're just throwing a tantrum by flinging themselves onto the floor and then pounding their fists like a toddler. What they're really doing is trying to uh, agitate things in beakers that are part of their pharmacology project. They're like, ah! 
Why won't my selenium mix with my <laughs> rubinium? <laughs> they are big bump there, has. But ancient Egyptians pioneered a lot of, you know, stuff. Maybe these guys are just further in the cause, despite being... They started out way behind, and then now they're catching back up. They are. If you mess up their experiment... Oh my goodness, if it was supposed to be double blind and you're like, Now it's only 1.5 blind! <laughs> they're like, No! My research accuracy! I think it would it would be absolutely absurd, wouldn't make any sense, but I would like it if you were like hanging out with a scientist and they admitted that they like to peek at double blind studies just just to see. <laughs> of course you'd have like a duty to report them, but Oh, so many blow gunners. <laughs> so let us take a little looky loo. All right. Ugh. One more giant tick. Well, we're getting more comfortable with giant ticks. Jerk scientists will be the ones that help us once we find the barbecue museum, barbecue sauce museum. We'll develop our jerk sauce for when we finally make jerk shrooms. Look at that. It's true, and tick is timing, so it works both ways, fiend. Either that or it's a real estate training course where it's all about location, location, location. Don't be where the spikes are. Those guys have deceptively large amounts of HP, based on their size. Doesn't Dion know? Oh, my curse chest is still up there, all lonely. So, uh, I was playing some Jackbox games this past weekend, and. My wife and I got the prompt in Quiplash, which, if you're not familiar, Quiplash is kind of like Balderdash, only you're not really trying to make it a believable explanation. It's just like, you're filling in the blank for a funny answer, where it's like, believe it or not, the most commonly used ointment in the USA is, and you, you know, you fill in whatever, like, freedom juice or, you know, whatever. Um, but we got a prompt that was like, Thing that would be most disturbing to pull out of your ear. And her answer, which our, our answers ended up being paired together, and hers was another ear, and mine was another ear, comma, but racist. And we were like, what? <gasps> oh. We're compatible. Also, if you do happen to pull another ear out of your ear, and that ear is racist, then please help it educate itself. Alright. Holy moly. Well, our curse sword is still right out of the box, but our Tesla coil...
We're ahead of the game. And if I did pull an ear out of my ear, I'd be pretty weirded out. All right, Mama. Yuck. <sighs> Come on. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, mama. Mmm. All right, so I think the thing that helped there... Uh, I was just saying a little more mobile, but not so mobile that we're, like, exhausting our dodge roll and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's not ruin the end of this run this time. <laughs> Thank y'all. So, on these attempts in the past week, we've made it beyond her with the curse sword and gotten to the hand and died to him. Uh, then the cavern. And then, recent, most recently today, we made it most of the way through the Astrolab. Uh, so let's close. Let's close. Let's get our. Let's earn our coffee. By killing the Glen Gary Glen final boss? <laughs> Who may or may not be Rick Ross? I don't know. Alright. <sighs> yeah! And that's one. I. The Astrolab Death kills me. Uh, because it was all mine to lose. I just shouldn't have done what I did. The Ground Shaker Elite. Still mine to lose, and still my mistake, for sure. But also, just something that... Uh, it was the worst roll possible, you know. Turret, elite, ground shaker, blocking progress, in a spot where we didn't have good mobility. Um, so. If we're gonna die, I'd rather die like that, where I'm like, oh, well... That's a shame. Rather than the ones where I'm like, why did you do that? Also, speaking of that, I'm going to lock in and pay attention, and I'm going to probably be pretty slow on chat, and I apologize. I'm going to say the rats will aggro to me after they take a little bit of that nearby damage. That's okay. There we go. They are so fast. Cleavers, that is. Like catchers when they kick. Ho ho ho! Quad damage pyro. Uh, that should show you how I feel about pyro. I don't want
Who's up top over there? Okay. Come on down. Feel free, all of you. It's true. Although, there are, well, I don't know what they'd have to be, but there are probably things that I would consider taking, maybe. But, they'd have to be something super nice like that double damage knife dance we got last time. Yeah, you have electricity, we have electricity, everybody's got electricity. <sighs> Gastro's giving us 14% extra damage for 5 full minutes with each recycled bit of food. Yes! We have done it back, it was some of the earlier wins were with Hokuto's. Um, weirdly enough, Except for the collector fight itself, the curse runs are easier with Hokuto's uh, because of the massive damage output and then also the range. It's nice to be able to just like boop, um, especially if we can manage to get a Hokuto's that does, you know, extra damage or like is applying its own damage over time, stuff like that. All right, Slasher Man. He's going to die. Will your buddy die too? Um. Yeah, no, I almost can't too. Like, cause it's been so long since I've run with that kind of thing. Since I've been, I've really been in love with with the way they reshuffled all the mutations and stuff. These days, that brutality build that's been our last couple of wins has been my jam. Where it's uh, Aura, Fire Nade, Bloodthirsty Shield. That's just so reliable. <laughs> yeah, I, my, my stream memory is like, one out of every 600 things will stay forever. So I'm like, oh yes, uh, Zangrief, didn't you mention that the last four of your social were, no, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll remember some weird specific piece and then I can't remember, you know, that. Like, what's the name of that one that's like Fortnite, but it's not Fortnite, and I think it was before Fortnite? Pubga? What's it called? Pubga? There's something specific about stream memory for me, because it's, uh, the you know, like, diversion of attention where... Like, I'm thinking about chat a lot, but I'm thinking about the game a lot, but I'm also thinking about... You know, meta shit about <laughs> the Fortnite. I wonder what the per what percentage of times people type Fortnite out as one word. They type Fortnite on purpose. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> I don't want anyone to think I'm... For the record, that's like half of my teachers, how they sounded in high school, but I don't want to... I'm trying not to be a dick. Okay, so that's rats and a catcher. Ooh. Alright, elite catcher, we may be able to avoid him, but I'm not... I'm ready if we have to fight. Mostly I just want this fog gone so that we are well aware of what's happening. And thank you for fart, fart bouncing. Starring Aaron Eckhart. Oh yeah, we'll let them have their little fun down there. Oh shit, we can't. Okay. Uh 
Alright. I'm so glad we killed him before he was able to... Don't aggro. Um, where he was able to put out his magic bomb. <laughs> Indeed. Oh boy. Curse. Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. The graveyard is surprisingly small. It's scary. But we're we're making progress. We're deep underground. We've already got our curse. Uh, once we get Explorer's Instinct, I will not vanity explore the rest of the place. We will grab our goodies and our upgrades and get out. Shoot me. One extra jump, okay. <sighs> this is where they want to scare me to death. What a range. Now there's certainly more enemies in this hallway. No more fog. Oh boy! Yeah, he almost got me. Ah, there's fog that way too. Okay. In that case, now we don't know if we're safe to the right over there. Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Okay. It was bound to happen and it's a turret. Okay, uh, turrets don't play nice with... Uh, like things that slow slow down the world. Uh, if we pick up a scroll, you can see it was still firing. Uh, teleportations. Things like that. The turret doesn't play nice, so I'm glad it's dead. Alright, we are just about headed back to the cavern. For the second time today, though. Fog so terrifying. Surprise, friends. Yup, same fiend. That's one of the dangers. Alright, let's wait for the speed buff to wear off. I got one extra jump. Alright, this is another spot where they really love to wig me out. Oh, okay, good. Thought they were gonna give me a a gross hallway with people I don't want to face head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Hey, alrighty. 
Back to the cavern, ladies and germs. Let's do it. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, give me a replacement cursor word or something very nice. Aww. Very nice up to those though. But... I will keep the shield for the collector primarily. I don't use it so much in a hand fight anymore, not while we're cursed. Uh, Qualentin and Lumen and several others have pointed out uh, the little, for the the hands three, three hit combo, um, the roll through, then jump, then roll through is now, I agree that it feels much more reliably repeatable. All right, well, this coil is amazing. Everything else is getting a little old, but that's fine. We have 40,000 bucks, so. Okay. Let's hope that flavor text is not true. For us, right now. Living the dream. Let's keep on living the dream by staying alive. Whoa, he wants that thing dead. Glad I didn't jump down there. I'm making weird decisions. I gotta stop doing that. weird myself out. Why here, though? Come on, just let me blast him. Let me blast you. There you go. fast. That's just cheap, and I don't mind at all. Alright, for Ground Shaker, we're going to try to approach him head on like this. We want him to do his melee attack. Uh, more predictable, as long as we get out of range, then we're safe. Uh, the stalactites above can be too much of a pain in the ass to manage. Ooh! That would have been a heartbreaker death. Uh, never assume they're dead, like I keep doing. Yes, thank you, Qualentin. If you're not familiar, Qualentin has... Away with words when it comes to the cavern especially, but sometimes these world areas. As long as he asks politely, we tend to get what we want, or what he wants. And thankfully what I want and what Paulantin wants are often aligned. <laughs> oh shit. Not what I meant to do. Not a good sign that my H runing went to somebody I wouldn't didn't want it to do. Uh, I should quit trying to talk so much. Slammerbird? Zoinks. You know, I think we can get through there.
Yeah, let's leave him alone. Now I have to be careful if we retread, especially before I've got Explorer's Instinct to mark him on the map. That would be a terrible surprise. But we'll be alright. Ooh, a quad damage item class 12 curse sword would be magnifique. Alright. Who's on this? Ooh. It's just you? Good. How's it going? This is our... We made it to the Astrolab earlier, and then I botched it. Yep. Yeah, she's been down twice today. I think we're like two and three against her. So she still wins more often than not when we're going for the no hit. Um, but yeah, there hasn't been a day where we were trying where we didn't kill her at least once on these. So that's good. But I would just like to catalog this one and have it in the books. If I could. That would be ideal. He didn't get stunned by that door. Good old slammy birds, always providing a surprise or two. And happy goodness, Monday. Monday or Tuesday. Haha. <laughs> your jumps were your only way out, but your jumps were also the thing that got you killed. Unless there's like a scroll down there, I'm not going to tangle with all those extras. <sighs> ah. Um, let's do it to it. I just don't know what their power is going to be. Ah. Oh, well, good that it's still on, though. But, yeah, that is a bummer. Be all prepped for it. Do you do anything particular to practice uh, for, like, phone interview stuff? Is it some kind of, like, Thunderdome situation where they're like, Congratulations! There are nine of you in four places at the table. 
The three who remain will receive pie afterwards. What's up, Alvalu? Uh, not new, just putting some points to Gastro, because right now we're getting 16% extra damage for all the... Dismantled food. Recycled food. No, you're good. Uh, oh my goodness. Whew. All right, another scroll of power. We're gonna keep on squirming around here. All right, big cursed sword. Ah, yeah. Okay, it is item class 12. It's not quad damage, but that's okay. That will do. That's a good question, Fiend. I think they do get stunned by doors. I feel like I mismanaged that door. Yeah, 12. It's a tween. Our cursed sword is now a tween. It's true, yeah. Not quad damage yet. We do have some rolling cash. Incorrect Mundo. Cursed sword can get quad. Have done. At least in old patches. we used to roll for it and when you're on lower difficulties you can pretty well assume you'll get a chance at at least double just because it's so cheap to re-roll okay who's in this hallway okay enough of that enough of that enough of that got a blind hallway It is, although... At some point, the damage output is less. Oh my goodness! Less important than just like scroll counts being on point for our traps and shit. And the actual sword would hit damage caps, but holy moly. Yeah, I wasn't sure that was going to work out for us. I'm so glad it did. Can I get a better owl? No. No, says the game. Yeah, dude, that was a uh, unwise play. That fragment, both those fragments are, no. I'm gonna get the scroll of power, but not the fragments. It's just not worth fighting, like, 15 enemies for the chance of one quarter of one tactic scroll. 
Okay. All's well. Woof. Let's party with the giant. Uh, this is what I was describing earlier. If you want the war javelin, jump down onto that platform. A little platformy puzzle. All right, reward owl. Ooh, pretty nice though. We can afford to roll it a little. That'll do. Uh, extra damage to bleed will be great. Okay. All right. Giant doesn't stand a chance to this loadout. Oh, and a better cursed sword. Maybe better. Oh, it's only a 10. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, I feel like that's a tricky one, Lumen. My, my old job actually did a great job of balancing that sword. Stuff because 99% of us were not client facing in any way, so it was very casual, but like dealing with the work, everyone took it very seriously. But dealing with each other, you know, we weren't like, hello, pardon, one moment. Um, obviously, we would respect if someone said, hold on, like, give me a moment, but I feel like it's a weird balance of trying to make sure that people can turn it on when it is outward facing, just so that, uh, you know, whatever. The business gets done. Whew. All right, hand man. Let's do this thing. If they, if they hadn't quarantined the poor arbiters into a single area, then maybe they would be handman. Woo! Woo! Yup. <laughs> yeah, that, I feel them when it is that. Because I, the chemical that gets released in my head called You Just Died in Dead Cells, you dummy, um, that gets released preemptively, and I'm like... Bleh. Thank you, Trefalin. Alright, now let's close this time. Coffee's for closers, and I do want another cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. That's the other scary part, Qualitan, is yeah, I'm sometimes it does feel like it's just I mean, who knows, like all the little subtleties, like 
I don't believe that outfits have different hitboxes, but shit, shit that inconsequential seems like... Oh. Sorry, my brain barely works right now. I'm just glad, I'm just glad it, we didn't. We are still alive. Okay, and I'm gonna go as slow as I wanna. Because last time I got impatient, for no reason, and it's the damnedest thing. It feels really far away from the Astrolab when Mama's still between us and our destination. Whew. Fly over. Fly on over, bud. There you go. We had 32 on our previous today excursion against the hand. Um, roughly the same. I mean, the hand, we feel the damage more than we do for Mama. But, like, for Mama, it's basically all dodging. Like, can I do the dodges? Okay. Other than that, like, the damage is going to be fine one way or another. All right, we do have... Oh, shit. What a unfortunate setup here. Alright, we gotta take out this bird, this magistrate of death, that librarian and failed experiment pair, and then we'll fight the elite if we have to. Uh, you would not. Uh, you wouldn't insta-dive, because it's not equipped. Same way you wouldn't get double damage taken if there was an affix in there for double damage taken on an item you had in the backpack. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Quantum. And in the words of my now deceased but very wise friend, at least make new mistakes. Oh yeah, we got some like salt and pepper beats. <laughs> Gonna push it real good through the astrolab. I've already got a really good Thunder Shoe. Holy shit, I almost just jumped right down in there to that. What a plan that would have been. And good call, Alapalu. Uh, if it's a challenge rift, I won't be taking it, but I appreciate the good eye. We will take him before the first boss, but not after. Whew. Yeah, I'm, I'm real uh, tiptoey around these magistrates now, because they killed us last time. Indeedy. Alright, so here's where we wait to see if that bomber got mad. Oh, shit! That's faux pas! That's really faux pas. Not cool, Hiawog's client. 
Was it just like a special accommodation, like giving them something that... Good, no one's upset at yeah, you, though. That's good. Come on over, big guy. You're gonna be so tough. We're gonna save the food for the final fight. living. Is this a, is this in the past been like a troubling client? Or is this their first sneaky move? Cool, cool. Yeah, no, I'm, right now I'm just paranoid, so I'm moving real paralyzedly. If I die to another Magistrate of Death after two Mama successful kills, I will cry myself to sleep. Or if that guy beats me through the wall, that would... I don't think they can do that, but you know. Who's to say? Eliza Doolittle for no good reason. I don't really care for Pygmalion or My Fair Lady, but I do little. Do do a little. Yeah, same. Actually, like, I was mostly kidding, Qualentin, but at the same time, I was keeping an eye on in case I needed to roll, because, yeah, that kind of shit does happen. Uh, blowgunners shooting through corners. Case in point. Do we have extra jumps? We have one extra jump. Alright. Let's live. Let's live life to the fullest. Cool, cool, hi, Wog. Well, good luck with the rest of your day. Good to see you. Um, well, I mean, it scales naturally with survival and, I mean, tactics and brute, so those, but I think it's good with anything. I mean, it's a good sword. a little too much. I shouldn't have done all that. Good. So we've got 17% extra damage every time we recycle food. And that means now we'll have at least 34% extra damage. We've got Allen Key, let's get to our uh, tower. Oh, 
Oh, we may have a left hand power here, huh? I'm kind of feeling that way. Yeah, I think we have a left hand tower. That is fine. Whew, yeah, a little weird feeling, but we'll be fine. Now we'll see. It really looks like we're gonna have to fight this bird. Does it though? I'm gonna go up higher. We're gonna take Scott's steps. Or we're gonna have happen to us what Scott's staff was hoping would happen to him. I really don't want to tangle with that, because if that bird elite has like a turret, that would be the ultimate pain in the ass, and that's a bomber elite. Okay. Okay, kind of sloppily played, but it worked out. <laughs> Thank you, Qualentin. At first I thought you, <laughs> I read that as, I need you to be Orb Laser, and I was like, oh no. Qualentin's turned. Okay, so there's a death moment. Uh, that Magistrate really wanted me to poke out and not have overhead cover. Actually, no, I don't think so, Luthanar. But if you'd like to politely ask RNG for it, I certainly wouldn't say no. Okay, there's another Magistrate of Death waiting up there to trick me. And you can see he's queued up. He's not roaming anymore. It's like pre-aggro. <sighs> Terrifying shit. And again, sorry for the, the real tiptoeing here, but... Um, no more silly deaths. If we're gonna die, I want it to be... I made a mistake. I was bested in battle, not uh, goofy shit. the idea of you and Qualentin being good cop, bad cop for fart bouncing. <gasps> that would make my day. Oh, you think you're clever? You thought that was silent? Easy now. Every Everyone has them slip out occasionally. Also, I like a good forceful OI! Okay, we have our keys. Let's, I think we do have a right side tower. I was just wrong earlier. So I think we can... Oh god. Yeah. Alright, we're in tower territory now.
Taking my time. You know, that's a good point. I never thought about that. The failed experiments themselves are like, I'll never tell. Good Tesla coil. And just in time, we'll have Crazy Owl. here again. Hopefully just no more nasty elites um, hiding in the tower. That would be tip top if we didn't have any of that. Um, but even if we do, we'll, we'll manage. Could have really botched that. But that one was one. There was no real good setup for that. IMHO. Whew. And sorry, this is just how it's going to be with our uh, magistrates because I'm so scared of them after the last death. I'm not playing around with them. They're savvy. Tesla coil, back in the day when we could move uh, turrets on our atrium, that would have been. <gasps> Tesla coil would be a fun one. A mobile bug zapper. Amphibian meals on wheels. I have one extra jump. we have up here? Ooh. Woo! Most dangerous part of that is just traps. Might push me. Um, and now I know there's a shield generator guy one level up, and I'm going to take him out. Because we can't have the librarian getting surprise shielded.
All right, y'all. There are so few enemies left here. And now we just choke this guy out, because I'm not making that same risk again. Taking that same risk again. Uh, this, by the way, is very risky. What we're doing now, H-Runing right next to these traps. Uh, the second the h -rune detaches, we have control of our body again. So if I'm meandering around up here, I have to be very careful that I'm moving just slightly to exactly where I want to be, and not uh, holding down a directional button. Deeply. I like the idea of deeply smelling something like, no, no. Not with your mouth. Breathe deeply through your nose. Smell the essence. That's an elite. What is it? A failed experiment? Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna try to take the bird first. And now... The goal would be to open those windows over there and see if we can just get out. We don't have to fight. <sighs> now, if we're gonna fight, yep. What's up, fun size? Is that both of them? Yeah. All right, ladies and germs, let's close out strong and You know, I think I will actually go see what we've got in the shops. Yeah, and our gastro as well. The problem with knockback shield is knockback shield has a weird timing on it. I'm worried that my thunder shield will also freak me out because of the shock effect. But I think I can just handle that. I think there's like a, a part of my head that just can do that. We'll hope. What I wouldn't give for like a colorless rampart right now. All right, let's go. It's time. This would be our 16th no-hit victory and our first in the Mama Tick root. On 5BC.
I do want quick sip. Oh, I assure you, we've got plenty of stats on the bottom. Fear not. All right, let's go. Berto. Number 16, but we got a mama. Whew. Oh, my little heart. Thank y'all. Did somebody order also, what's a up, pizza? From Thank you for the follow. Woo! Ah, that feels good. Thank y'all. King Bull, what's up? Thank you, Lobes. Thank you, Zug. Thank you, Songbird. Woo! <laughs> All right. 